guys! Today I filmed this purple half cut crease prom look. It could also be a spring look if you're done with prom because it's very purple and bright. But I kind of made it a little bit more dark too so it could look formal. If you wanted to switch out these darker tones of purples for brighter purples, go ahead. Violet would look super pretty for spring. And then also at the end I put two lip options. This is lip option number two. This is just a darker nude, something a little bit more in my comfort zone. But I stepped out of my comfort zone for lip option number one and did a dark deep purple, which you could always do because it'll complement the purples in your eyeshadow. If you want to see this look, keep on watching. Okay guys, now to get started I had my eyes already primed and set with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then my face powder. So we're going to go into my Lorac Pro Matte Palette and start with the shade Pink Mauve and go in with a Sephora crease brush and just dust that in the crease for some light definition. I know it's been a while since I have uh, loaded up or uploaded anything to my channel. Uh, it's been a long while actually. If you guys want to see a video on that, just chatting kind of like about where I've been, let me know in the comments below and like and thumbs up this video and that will tell me that you guys want to see more. So now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Palette and I'm going to go in with this Smashbox brush. It's just like from a travel set or something and I'm going to go in with the purple to start defining my crease. So yeah, uh, all summer <laughs> I've been away from YouTube. It's, it's been a long summer, man. This video was actually filmed back in May right before I graduated, right before prom happened and before everything started going down so yeah now I live on my own and it's pretty great so I just keep going in with the Smashbox brush and just kind of like blending adding more color and blending adding more color seeing where I like the finished product and then going back in with the eyeliner brush again to define the crease even more with the same purple shades it's kind of just a lot of adding color and then blending it all out in the end And so then I'm going back in with my Wet n Wild Petal Pushers palette, going back in again with that dark purple type of or rustic brown kind of purple. I don't know how to describe it. Basically everything in this palette is a little bit shimmery, so I really shouldn't be putting it in my crease, but I was just kind of having fun with some purple colors for prom. Even though this is not what I wore to prom at all, actually, I did more of a brown smoky eye. It was super fun. I'll add pictures of my prom makeup at the end of this video. And then I started going into my outer V, starting to define actual like uh, the outer limits of my eye rather than just my crease. And then I started going into my Carly Bible palette and I took mostly the darker purple but I also added the lighter purple next to it and mixed it in a little bit. Again with all the same brushes, just defining the crease again, adding more purples. It's best when you're doing a look with color to do a lot of different shades and tones of the color to make sure you're adding a lot of dimension and you're not just slapping one purple on the eye and trying to make it work. It's really hard to make colors actually look like they're fading into each other when they're on your skin and your skin is a completely different tone than the colors are. And then I just keep going in with a bunch of different brushes, mostly um, the same Eco Tools brushes and then the same Smashbox brush just to kind of add a little bit of dimension without having to change colors. Using the same color and different brushes can make it look differently. And then I go in with my Tarlet and Bloom palette and I'm taking both the shade Rebel and then Leader as well. I'm just kind of starting from the darker shades and working my way down until it's all blended out the way I like it. And then after this, I believe, I do go in and blend it all out with the lighter shade Sweetheart. And that's just kind of another version of the pink mauve shade from the Pro Matte palette. It was just right there and easy to use, so I grabbed that one instead. And then I go in again with that eyelid shade, the very light purple from the Petal Pusher palette from Wet n Wild, and just blend that out with a Real Techniques brush as well. And then, just because, like I said, Blending out with purple on your skin tone isn't that easy. I went in with MAC Coral Single Shadow and with another brush just blended that out on top of the purple to make the purple blend well into my skin color. And then I just kind of check it out, see how I like it, blend where needed, switching brushes, 
Sometimes I don't even have to add product to the brush, it's just kind of to blend it all out until I feel that it's where it needs to be. Then next I'm going in with my Shape Tape Concealer and a small concealer brush to just carve out my lid and see where I want it to be. So my camera did die in between there, which is why the lighting changed and why I had concealer already on my eyelid. Filming, I remember, is very hard because my battery dies quickly, like really quickly. So about 10 minutes of video and my camera is just dead, it's just gone. And it doesn't tell me when it dies either. So I feel like that's something that I really need to work on if I want to keep filming and YouTubing because that was definitely an issue and I remember it was an issue even seven months ago. Since I haven't filmed in seven months, that was an issue. So then after this, all I'm going to do is go in with the lightest gold in my Carly Bible palette. I think maybe even I used one of the highlighters. I don't remember exactly what shade I used, but I'm going to go over it in a while anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I just set that down with the same brush I used to put the concealer on, just to set the concealer and make sure it wasn't going anywhere. And then after this, I go back in with some of those purples in my crease to intensify the crease a little bit more. Once I put the gold on top, I realized that the purples weren't even as intense as I wanted them to be. So I kind of just kept adding them and blending until the cut crease kind of blended away in the end. But in the end, I was satisfied with the result, so it's okay. I liked it. So yeah, I'm just going back in with that purple crease shade, deepening the outer V. I didn't really like how it was just kind of like the same in the entire crease and outer V. It was almost the same shade. I wanted the outside to be a little bit deeper than the upper crease. And then I go back into the Carly Bible palette with those two purples and again doing the same thing, just adding color and blending it out, trying to intensify that crease a little bit more. Then I go in with another brush. I think this one's a Morphe brush. I don't know the exact name of it, but it wore off the brush already. And then I'm just kind of taking the same exact colors, but on this denser brush to make them even deeper and darker and more intense. And then going back in with my Sephora Pro Crease, just no extra product on it, just kind of blending everything else out. I was also thinking about some extra videos that I want to do in the future. And I had three different ideas. First of all, maybe I could do like a haul. I know I shopped a lot on Black Friday and recently for makeup, for presents, and also for myself. So if you guys would like to see a haul, let me know. I can do that. And then also I was thinking of uh, sort of all the favorites that I've been loving ever since I last filmed. Because you know, if a person uses the same exact product for seven months straight, you know, it's got to be a really good product. Then I just keep going in with the Tartlet and Bloom palette, some of those darker purples. And then this is where I change um, the lid color to that shimmery purple instead of the shimmery gold. And I went over it with the Brow Bone shade from the Petal Pusher palette. Anyways, uh, I was thinking about doing maybe a favorite since uh, I last filmed video. And then also, like I said earlier, maybe doing a chatty get ready with me and just kind of like where I've been, how, how I've been where my journey has taken me in life because I know there's so much that I want to tell you guys that's happened since I last filmed and since I last actually uploaded a video but um, yeah I just kind of keep adding color where I want it right now and then looking in the mirror to see if I like where the crease is cut I try to make both of um, the eyelids cut the same exact way but the way the light looked I don't know it looked different anyways uh, I am back with my foundation already done, concealer done, set, and my liner was done and it was a purple uh, Wet n Wild eyeliner I want to say. And then I'm going in with the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D with that middle warmer bronze shade and I'm just bronzing my face with a larger fluffy bronzing brush. And then next I go in with the more ashy tone shade in the Shade and Light palette on the bottom. And then I'm going in with a large fan brush. This is something I really liked doing in the spring of this year. I liked taking this large fan brush to kind of like chisel into my cheekbones. And I don't know. I like <laughs> I liked it then. I haven't used the brush really since 
summer, so I can't say if I still love it anymore. Maybe I'll try it again soon. And then back then, I was really into contouring my nose. Like, I think I did it every time I did my makeup, now that I'm thinking about it. So I went in and contoured my nose with the same color I contoured my cheeks with. And I just did that with a small Sephora, no, I think that's an Ulta brush, and it's like a crease brush or something. Just some small eyeshadow brush, and that's what I always use to contour my nose. Then I went in with this Becca blush palette from last year's holiday and just a small blush brush and I took one of those shades on my cheeks. I don't think it really matters what shade I use because I'm really sure that they don't sell that palette anymore. Then I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Palette and I went in with a mixture of the blue and purple shades in there to try and complement my purple eyeshadow and I just went to town with the glow. I loved the Moonchild Glow Palette at that time. I haven't really used it since just because I don't have use for it since it's so colorful and different, like pastel -y kind of. I've been sticking to about the same highlighters every day that I do my makeup. But I like my routine with highlight because, you know, like I've bought Hourglass highlighters and they're probably the best powders I've ever used in my life. Anyways, I'm going in with the same shade. No, I think I went in with the um, ice shade or like there was a white shade in that palette. And that's what I'm using to highlight my brow bone and then my inner corner, but I think I went back over my inner corner because it wasn't highlighty enough. I guess we'll see in a minute. But yeah, I used to love that palette and I really haven't used it in a while. So I guess this video is reminding me of what I need to use. So now I'm taking this Bare Minerals Loose Eyeshadow, I wanna say it's either an eyeshadow or a pigment, and it's in a very light shade. I'm pretty sure it's called Snow and I used that to highlight my inner corners a little bit more just for a little extra bling. I think it really complemented the purples well because it had like a blue undertone to it. And then now for the lower lash line I'm going in with the Lorac Pro Matte Palette just blending everything out with the pink mauve shade first and then going back in with those purples and kind of adding those. And then once I'm done blending those purples I go in with a Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade black. I'm pretty sure it's just called black. It's just a mini that I got from Sephora and honestly since then maybe I think for this video prom and then graduation I wore black eyeliner on my lower lash line and I have not worn it since because it irritates my eyes so much. And then I just went in with these dark purples from the Wet n Wild palette and set that black eyeliner down, made sure it would go nowhere, and then blended it out too so it wasn't just a harsh black line on my lower lash line. So once I'm done with this, I just kind of check everything out, make sure it all looks nice. So for this video, um, I did have two lip options. This is the first. This is, I can't remember exactly what lips I used in this one, but this one was a Wet n Wild lipstick, I'm pretty sure, so that was lip option number one. And then I'm taking the shimmery purple shade that I used on my eyelids, and I'm also dabbing it on the center of my lips just to make it look metallic. This is for the people who are daring enough to try a dark vampy lip color, maybe for a night out or something like that. I don't think I would be daring enough for this, but you never know, maybe someday. Maybe I will someday. And then lip option number two. Honestly, I cannot remember what shade this is. I'm pretty sure it might be MAC Twig, but I'm not completely sure. It's just a really dark red kind of nude, and that was lip option number two. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't already. Like and thumbs up this video if you haven't, and I'll be back next week with another video. Love you guys.